consciousness. This new paradigm also demands a change in consciousness. It is necessary that we move beyond a consciousness that sees human beings as the center of the universe toward one that allows us to be fully human. How ironic that our human-centered interpretation of the universe has robbed us human beings of validity and meaning. Our human-centered focus is exactly the same as what those of us in the addictions field called self-centeredness, which is a key characteristic of addiction. When people are self-centered, they not only are selfish, they define the world in terms of themselves. Everyone and everything is either for or against them, a characteristic of most major religions of the world. Anyone who is unlike them must be destroyed because they feel so insecure in themselves that any differences are a threat, also a characteristic of most religions. When people are self-centered, they have no boundaries and do not know where they end and others begin. In fact, they do not know that they end and others begin. Therefore, it is necessary for them to try to control everything. Addicts set up a world that is based upon the illusion of control. This is the type of world we have constructed out of the mechanistic paradigm. In recovery, we see that as people become more in touch with themselves, they relinquish their self-centeredness. And as they relinquish their self-centeredness, they have more of a self. And when they have a self, they do not need to be so self-centered set up such rigid, rigid, impenetrable boundaries, or penetrate others' boundaries. When we change from a self-centered, human-centered form of consciousness, we have more awareness of the self and the other, and we are comfortable with oneness. Frederick Frank has suggested that reducing humans to stimulus response and control issues reduces them to a subhuman state. Can it be that as we stop defining the universe in terms of ourselves, we become more fully ourselves and what we can be? I think so.